Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today I have my August 2021 favorites to share with you all. Now as you guys might know, I do monthly favorites videos where I share things that I've loved that are crafty, lifestyle, whatever it may be, so you guys can find th new things that you love and you guys can share with me what you guys have been loving during the month. So thinking back to August, you guys might remember i had a very very fun time because i hosted one of the first in a while patreon scrap parties which if you don't know what that means essentially my friends over on patreon come join me in our exclusive facebook group for scrapbooking live together so they'll be able to see my desk i'll be able to see what they're working on and we go through a bunch of challenges together and just have a ton of fun during one of the weekends that i have one scheduled and i happen to have one in august and it was an absolute blast i think there was one participant who actually finished all the challenges that weekend but either way just great inspiration to get us crafty and to get us motivated to work on some projects so i had a ton of fun with that last month and then moving into another crafty favorite that i don't think i actually used at all on youtube but i did use again over during the patreon scrap party was one of my nouveau drop colors that i've had for a while but sort of neglected and you guys might remember last month i actually had this color as my favorite but i pulled out my nouveau drop yellow this is the dandelion yellow color i used this quite a bit last month again on those pages that you can see in the wrap-up video for the month of August and I had a lot of fun using this color as you can see it's very full still but I did have a lot of fun using this yellow color on those layouts just to add a bit of pop of yellow and brightness and what I really like about Nouveau Drops is that you can make them any size you want so I make really really small ones and very large ones to have a lot of variation and varying degrees of sizes so I just really really love this and this is the crystal Nouveau Drops I really like just the plain colored ones nothing too crazy no glitter no texture um, I know they have all sorts of kinds but this is my favorite kind it's just the normal crystal drops and of course also during the month I did a ton of stamping as you guys might recall so my favorite ink ended up being the stays on midnight blue because I had so much navy in my collection that I had pulled out so this is what the navy stays on looks like so it's actually just a really really dark blue as you can tell it is a square ink pad and this is a solvent ink which means it's very fast drying which is very convenient but how cute is this packaging too for the upcoming um, scary Halloween season um, very very cute but as you guys also might remember I did have a ton of fun actually doing a bunch of stamping with a specific stamp set which I've also pulled into my favorites this month and I actually got a lot of questions about this stamp set you guys seem to love it I've only been able to find it in stock at one retailer at least in the United States and that is the Concord Knife Just Because stamp set as you can tell it is well loved it actually doesn't have the year on it it's actually missing the number at the end of 20 it says 201 and then there's a space so they didn't actually put the number on this packaging which I'm sure they meant to but this is the Just Because stamp set from Concord and Ninth, and as you can tell, it's well used because there are so many um, blue stamps in here because I just kept stamping them with the blue. And like I said, I will have all of these linked down below if you guys are interested in checking them out. But it's just such a fun stamp set to have all these bits and pieces in, and I still can't believe how freaking cute it is with the mixed media pieces, with the floral pieces, and then of course with words too. Like you can't get better than that. You just you just can't get better than that. So that is definitely the stamp set I had most love this month among other ones, but I did want to just feature one so you guys could get an idea of what I loved using this month. And then next up on my list is actually a non-physical favorite and it's my favorite Instagrammer of the month, which I haven't done before. So I thought I'd start doing that because many of you guys know I adore and love Instagram. Um, so my favorite Instagram, her user title is as told by Michelle. So Michelle is a lifestyle um, Instagrammer and she posts the cutest stuff getting ready for fall and Halloween and autumn and I can't wait to see her Christmas stuff but she has a gorgeous house um, and she also shares the real side of things like a messy house um, her child of course and all that stuff so I'll have her link down below so you guys can check her out if you are interested but again really enjoy her content and always love her reels she makes super cute reels over on Instagram so definitely check her out I'll have her link down below and then another non-physical favorite is my favorite youtuber of the month which this isn't a person it's actually 
actually a show on YouTube and the show is called Um Actually, which is a fun sort of game show style um, nerd show, if you will, uh, where there's trivia and essentially a statement is made and the contestants have to find out what's wrong with the statement. So they cover things like Harry Potter, Marvel, um, anime, comics, all the things, like anything you can imagine is included. And of course, I don't know everything, so it's fun to learn about things I've never heard about, but also be able to participate in the questions that I do know about. Um, and of course, it's a really, really fun show. And I highly recommend it if you guys are into any of that sort of culture and watch any of the nerdy stuff too, because um, it's definitely a fun show to watch, especially with friends, because sometimes they'll know stuff that you don't know and vice versa. So it's a lot of fun and I highly recommend it. I'll have it linked down below if you guys haven't heard of it before so you can check it out too and as always I'll have more information over on the blog about all these things if you're interested in seeing a full list and you can check that out in the description box down below but let's move into some lifestyle stuff which I don't normally pull out in these videos because I often forget to include it so one of the things I recently got and have been loving is something from Target of course who doesn't love something from Target but this here is a skirt from Target which will not fit in the frame supposedly but um, as you can see it's an elastic waistband skirt with a tie strap it does have pockets it has like the nice skirt material and then of course the underside shorts that are spandex and what I like about this skirt, and I only have a couple so do, I'm not a skirt expert but I'm getting there um, this is by the brand all in motion which is a target brand but what I like about this skirt is it has a zipper pocket as well as a normal pocket so if I were to go running I do have the zipper option to be able to like seal something in. Um, I know a lot of people are loving these skorts for park days. Um, so if you're going to a theme park um, here at the end of summer or anything like that, um, they do make it in a couple of colors. I ended up getting the black color because it's a little sleek compared to my other skorts. And I just really love it. And if you guys need a skort, check out the ones at Target. I believe it was $30 not on sale, but I'll have a link down below so you guys can see if it's on sale online right now. And I do have an item that is currently on sale. And this is actually a shoe, which I don't think I've ever put a shoe in my favorites before, so it's kind of fun. But this is a set of sandals, and you have to, uh, I apologize that they're already dirty, but I do love them and do wear them. So this is a St. John's Bay sandal. It's called the Rochester, and it is a cushiony sandal with the memory foam, which we love. But as you can see here, it's got these fun bands across the top. Um, so you have like this little bit of fun movement as well as a Velcro strap at the ankle. And I really like sandals that stay on my feet. I don't prefer slip-ons. So I have these and they have gone through a couple rainstorms. They have a really durable bottom, which I will not show you because again, it is dirty. So you can see they do have some wear and tear, but I do absolutely love them. I find them very comfortable and I like that they're easily adjustable. It's not a buckle strap, which I find very frustrating and annoying sometimes, but they are really adorable and really cute. And they're from JCPenney and I believe they're on sale for $20 right now. And they do come in a couple different colors. I think they come in red and blue as well as the black. So definitely check them out if you are interested in upgrading your sandal collection or anything like that. But again, really love those and recommend them. Moving back into crafty things, I do have a sort of concept favorite, but I did pull out a physical example that I used during the month of August, and that was acetate. I have not used acetate in a really, really long time, and I ended up pulling these Ellie Studio acetate shapes into my kit, and what I really loved about these is that it's something so unique to have like a shiny piece, but also transparent, but also has a little bit of white onto it to give it like contrast on top of the photo, etc. So I have this particular set here, which it's going to be hard to see them because they are acetate, but you can kind of see a couple of them in there. Some circles, some tags, some words, nothing too crazy, but it is really nice to have something that has a variety of sort of texture and styles, just something different that I got to use and really, really enjoyed. So I pulled these in as a favorite this month because I did enjoy them very much. And then before I forget, another lifestyle favorite is this necklace, and I'll put in a close-up after so you guys can see it, but it's actually just an initial necklace. So both sides have my initial, which is K. Um, one side has like this nice texture on it, and the other side is flat gold um, plated, and it is so, so cute and so simple, but my boyfriend got this for me for my birthday and I really love the simplicity of it and I really like simple jewelry right now as you guys might know and if you're interested in seeing more of my life and behind the scenes you can check out my behind the scenes vlogs over on Patreon which are all about 
everything else that's not here on YouTube. So definitely check those out if you are interested. But moving into a recurring segment on this particular video every month is the pin of the month. That's right, you guys guessed it. So the pin of the month this month is a new one and it is from a pin uh, pin shop on Etsy. And this is from the Ritex is I think how you pronounce their name. But again, I'll put a close up of this after, but it's a little set of scissors with a banner across it that says Crafty Girl Gang. And I just think it is so, so cute. And I cannot get over how freaking cute it is. It is just so, so precious. And it's absolutely the cutest thing I have ever seen. It is just, uh, I just like it so much. It's so crafty yet so fun. And I just, I just love it. And again, I have, have their Etsy shop linked down below so you guys can check that out if you are interested. But I believe that's it for my favorites this month. We went through stamps and clothes and inks and all the other things. But hopefully you guys enjoyed and learning about some of my favorites this month. Sometimes they repeat month to month because I love something so much. So if you, things get a little bit old, I do apologize. I just get so caught up in loving things that sometimes I talk about them too much. But I can hardly believe that another month has come and gone. And we have more favorites to talk about, of course. But as always, make sure you leave your favorites down below so I can check them out. I know you guys have favorites every month and I would love to know what you are loving lately, like I am loving lately, whether it's crafty or not, a new show, an Instagrammer, a YouTuber. I always love learning what you guys love. So make sure you check out the blog post link down below with all the product details. Again, this is a hard to come by stamp set. So if you're really, really wanting it and loved how I used it, definitely check out the blog post so I can have the link for you of the only place I've been able to find it so far. But hopefully it's available somewhere near you across the globe if you're interested. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on future monthly favorites videos. But thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.